We're now just 350 days away from the 2020 presidential election. And as the big day approaches, people are scrutinizing the front runners more than ever. Their policies, how they eat fried food, and of course, <laughs> their age. You realize right now, the four biggest contenders have a combined age of 297 years old. <laughs> Or well, 299 if you include Buttigieg. <laughs> now, <laughs> while Bernie was recovering from a heart attack and Biden was fighting the narrative of memory, memory loss, Trump has been impervious to the age discussion because despite his lifestyle, Trump has been freakishly healthy, never needing to even see a doctor until now. Questions are being raised after an unconventional visit by President Trump to Walter Reed Medical Center. The White House insists it was for an annual physical, but it came less than a year after the last one and did not follow protocol. The way in which this visit took place was unusual. The White House did not announce uh, the president's uh, plans to go to Walter Reed ahead of time. The White House says the president is taking advantage of a free weekend in Washington overnight. President Trump also tweeting that this is just phase one of his physical. He will continue it next year. Yes, this weekend, President Trump made a surprise visit to the hospital, and nobody knows why. Was it a health emergency, or did he need to get a marble removed from his nose again? We don't know. <laughs> and this story became super suspicious when Trump tweeted he just popped into the hospital to do phase one of his annual physical. That's... that's not a thing. Like, that's not a thing. Nobody breaks their annual physical into phases. <laughs> that's not a thing. You're not like, yeah, today we can just cup the balls, and then in March, I'll come back and cough. <laughs> now, because no one trusts this White House, everyone is wildly speculating about what actually happened. Did Trump have a heart problem or a stroke? And if he did have a stroke, how would you even be able to tell? <laughs> yeah. No, because the symptoms of a stroke are slurred speech, confusion, and erratic behavior. For Trump, that's a Tuesday. <laughs> we wouldn't know. In fact... In fact, if Trump ever starts speaking normally, that's when Melania should call 911. <laughs> She'll be like, hello, ambulance, something is wrong with my husband. He just finished a crossword puzzle. Please send help. <laughs> and even if Trump is lying about the physical, that doesn't mean something major is going on, right? But we also know that if something was horribly wrong with Trump, the White House would just pretend like everything was normal. Like, Trump could come back with both arms amputated, and his press secretary would come out like, uh, this was just a standard checkup. The president's arms have always been brooms. He uses them to clean up Washington, D.C. <laughs> so, look, I don't know what happened with Trump, but judging by this weekend's news, it wouldn't be surprising if he had a panic attack. Because during the impeachment hearings last week, you may remember we learned about a call at a restaurant between Trump and an EU ambassador, Gordon Sondland. Well, now... A diplomat who overheard that call is spilling all the beans to Congress. NBC News obtained a copy of David Holmes' opening statement. Here's part of what he said, quote, while Ambassador Sondland's phone was not on speakerphone, I could hear the president's voice through the earpiece of the phone. I then heard President Trump ask, so he's gonna do the investigation? Ambassador Sondland replied that he's gonna do it, adding that President Zelensky will do anything you ask him to. President's voice was very loud and recognizable, and Ambassador Sondland held the phone away from his ear for a period of time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. David Holmes testified to Congress that he overheard a call where Trump explicitly asked for Ukraine to dig up dirt on Joe Biden. And the diplomat overheard this conversation not because Trump was on speakerphone, but because Trump is a human speakerphone. <laughs> and he's like, I'm calling about the criminal conspiracy. You know what? I can't hear you. Let's switch to speaker. I'm calling about the criminal conspiracy! <laughs> so Trump, talking investigations on the call with Sondland looks pretty bad. What's even worse is that after the call, and this is crazy, after the call, Sondland recaps what just happened for everyone at the table, like an episode of White House Talking Dead. <laughs> Ambassador Sondland agreed that the president did not give a <laughs> about Ukraine. I asked why not. And Ambassador Sondland stated that the president only cares about big stuff. I noted there was big stuff going on in Ukraine, like a war with Russia. <laughs> And Ambassador Sondland replied that he meant big stuff that benefits the president, like the Biden investigation that Mr. Giuliani was pushing. Seriously? He gets off the call and then lays out the plan for everyone at the table? Was he trying to get busted? 
Like, what did he do next? Just jump into a plane and write, Trump wants dirt on Joe Biden in the sky? <laughs> so, there are a lot of damning details in this testimony, but my favorite part, my favorite part, was when Sondland talked about just how much the president of Ukraine was willing to help Trump. I heard President Trump then clarify Ambassador Sondland was in Ukraine. Ambassador Sondland replied, yes, he was in Ukraine, went on to state, President Zelensky loves your ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> Zelensky loves Trump's ass. <laughs> A few days ago, Fox News was saying impeachment wasn't sexy enough. Now we got ass play. <laughs> So, with this new information, Wednesday's public hearing with Gordon Sondland is bound to be amazing. Because you know they're gonna have to ask him about this in the hearings. It's gonna be like, uh, Mr. Sondland, does Zelensky really love Trump's ass? Be like, uh, that's correct. He likes big butts, and I cannot lie to Congress. <laughs> but you know what? This all makes sense now. Yeah, we all thought Trump's leverage over Ukraine was military aid. Turns out, it's dead ass. <laughs> yeah, so maybe Trump didn't go to hospital because he was sick. Maybe he was just getting some cosmetic surgery that would convince Zelensky to give him that dirt on Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs>